Hey, what's up, how you doing? Today, we are talking about a patient that is postpartum. So she delivered a baby about a month ago and she developed mastitis. Sometimes mastitis can turn into a breast abscess. What we did the first time was drain her breasts and she got a lot of pus out, got a lot of relief. She has a little small incision. Came back about a month later and on the other side, she developed the same thing. The tricky part about this, she had a biopsy previously that was a fibroadenoma, not cancer, but that put her at risk for developing the same thing at this site. It hurt so bad the first time in the office because we can't really numb up patients with lidocaine and abscesses, we decided to take her to the operating room. So this is a previous incision, it has nothing to do with what's going on underneath, but what we're gonna do, so she did end up with multiple incisions, we're gonna cut this one out, she's moving. Just gotta make sure it fits the block. I'm gonna tell it where it works. A separate pus pocket, right? So that's what we found in the operating room. We packed the wound pretty good. We'll also show you how to do a wet to dry dressing. She was kind enough to let us do that as well. So this is how you do a wet to dry dressing. You have a, a wound. This one tunnels a little bit. You see it goes pretty deep around. What you want to do is if it if you get out the shower and you wash it really good, rinse it out with soap and water, you can just stick the gauze in. But a true wet to dry is when you take the gauze or the amount that you think you're going to put in the wound and keep it wet. It doesn't have to be sloppy wet. Bring it out so it's just moist. Okay? And then once you do that, you take this and you put it in the wound. Put in as much as you can. I know this one goes this way and it goes a little bit this way. And after a while, you get to a point, scissors please, where you have the dry part. So all of the wet is in the wound and all the dry is out. What we'll do here is cut this, put it right there. And then we'll just ball it up so that the wet is on the incision and the dry is on the skin. You leave this in for 48 hours or if it's the first dressing, but as a patient, you'll probably pull it out every 24 hours at least. And what will happen is it'll be dry. So you pull it out of the debris in the dead tissue or necrotic tissue, and then you redo it. If you're in the shower and you get soap and water in it, you don't have to worry about drying the wound. You can just use dry gauze, pack it, it'll be wet enough, and it works. But that's pretty much how you do a wet to dry dressing. And that's what we did. We'll remove the dressing. <laughs> He's tripping. The patient will remove the dressing in 48 hours. She'll do wet to dry dressings once a day. The breast will heal from the inside out, and she should be good. She also actually can breastfeed on that side because there was no active communication between the breast glands and the abscess. We did try and remove some of the milk while we were doing the procedure just to make sure and it wasn't contaminated with blood from what we did. So she's good to continue breastfeeding. All right, take care.